When talking about F2P accessible light cones for abundance characters, the best one that comes to mind is Postdoc Conversation. It provides energy regen and allows your abundance character to run max HP rope to provide more heals when they use their skill or ultimate. At higher superimposition levels, Postdoc Conversation run with energy regen rope often allows you to use one less turn to generate enough energy for your ultimate. But did you know that there is a 3 star light cone that can arguably outperform even an S5 Postdoc Conversation? The light cone in question is Multiplication, a 3 star light cone that allows your abundance character to advance forward when they basic attack. The rotation of abundance characters is simple. You want to basic attack as many times as possible to generate energy for your ult while giving skill points to your Bronya or your Zila or any other DPS characters that you're using. As you are using basic attacks most of the time, we can abuse the mechanics of multiplication. Let's use our new Lynx character as an example. If you're using post-op conversation, even at S5, you will need 4 basic attacks before Lynx can use an ult even if you're running energy regen rope. At 137 speed on an 8 cycle MOC stage, you can expect Lynx to have 13 turns. If Lynx basic attacks 13 times, you'll get 3 full ultimates. If you're using a 4 star abundance character to solo sustain, you will most likely need to use their skill once in a while. The good thing with that is that post-op plus ERR pair is that you will be able to get a full ultimate with 1 skill and only two basic attacks. But without at least an S3 post-op, even if you are running ERR, you will still need one skill and three basic attacks to get an ultimate. This means that using at least S3 post-op and ERR, you have two opposite choices you can go for. Use skills twice and generate enough energy for four ults, but only generating nine skill points. Or never use skill and generate enough energy for only three ults, but you generate 13 skill points or somewhere in between. With S5 multiplication, it is insane. As you are basic attacking most of the time, you will basically almost always advance forward your character by 20%. In the same number of MOC cycles and same speed, you can expect to have 16 turns. This means potentially generating 16 skill points, and within 16 turns, your lanes can still get 4 full ultimates with only basic attacks. But as mentioned, you will still need some skill points for occasional emergency healing. And say that in 8 cycles you use your skill twice, you are still generating 12 skill points, which is higher than an S5 post-op, and you still get 4 ultimates. The difference is that with ERR only and no energy regen for multiplication, you cannot do the post-op trick by using only one skill and two basic attacks to get an ult. But it doesn't matter, because the extra turns you get from the advance forward for multiplication gets you to have your ult just as fast anyway. Not only that, with the advance forward, even against the bosses in MOC with the highest speed of 158, your abundance characters will be always able to get a turn after the boss's turn which allows for more flexibility in using your skill for emergency healing when your ultimate is not up. This is not the case with post-op because of your slower speed that sometimes allow the boss to take actions twice before your abundance character can get a turn. When using multiplication for links, you can expect the enemies to take 4 turns, and in 4 turns they will usually use one huge CC, like Kafka's Domination or Yanqing's Freeze. Lynx is also able to get 4 turns with S5 multiplication, allowing her to immediately get enough energy for her ultimate just from basic attacks and instantly cleansing your allies when they are CC'd. One downside that multiplication has is that it has a lower base stat, especially the HP stat. But after calculating the amount of HP percentage you get from your relics, the HP difference if you were to use S5 multiplication instead of S5 post-op is only around 10%. The healing difference when you're using Lynx's skill is only around 7% because of the flat HP heal that abundance characters give. But the ultimate heals do have a huge difference with S3 post-op healing for around 20 1% more because of the outgoing healing increase that it gives to ultimates. All in all though, I still think that an S5 multiplication can be arguably better than even an S5 post-op, simply because of how much flexibility it gives you with the extra turns, allowing you to heal in urgent situations with your skill. At the same time, it provides a lot more skill points for your whole team and also allows you to generate 4 ults in 8 cycles in MOC even with just basic attacks. The small downside is that it heals slightly less, but you can always compensate that with using skill points more often. The flexibility it offers is top tier, and the best thing is, everyone basically has this light cone, unlike an S3 post-op. It is also usable for Natasha and Bailu with the same advantages. So, will you use multiplication on your abundance characters?